Hi friends, AMD Vegan. There are endless way to make my daily greens and that is what something I really appreciate that's so nice about the plant-based diet. It opens the door to endless vegan variety. I just hear some romaine leaves, mini romaine they're called, here in Germany. And romaine is a wonderful uh, lettuce. I can make a green salad with it in uh, very simple. I don't have to care for anything. The leaves are firm. They can be easily stored. I wash them uh, thoroughly and then I dry them in a sound spinner and then I cut them on a cutting board like this. It's very simple. I can't do anything wrong here. <laughs> when I have a butterhead leaf, a tender leafy green, this is the firm leaf, with the tender leaves, so, a lot can go wrong. <laughs> yeah. um, storage is not easy, they wilt easily, and then when you put something on top of them, it's too heavy, they're meshed, not nice, uh, the dressing has to be light, and so forth and so forth. You cannot toss them easily because as soon as you toss them, you have to eat them, you can't wait, and so so very complicated. But the, uh, the romaine here is super easy, and it has uh, not such a bitter flavor. It's uh, a nice flavor. It's a little bit bitter like all the greens, most of the greens. But um, that's why we put something like a tomato or an onion on top that already balances the greens, the little bitter greens. The wonderful tomato here in the summer is a nice season for that. <coughs> a red onion. I've minced it. <coughs> uh, I take a red onion today because I have corn too. Uh, corn is um, a wonderful ingredient for a lettuce, for a green salad, because it is, it is cereal and it makes the green salad um, filling. I have only half a cup today and I'm going to have a small um, salad only, not a big salad. Uh, I cut the corn from the cob and a half a cob, I crack it open and then I cut it from the sides. Uh, I show, in some videos I show it, but it's very easy to get the corn. Otherwise you can take frozen and, and make it um, with hot water, make it, make it, make it thaw it, yeah, very easy. So corn and tomatoes are nice. And the red onions, I prefer the red onions with the corn, otherwise I would usually take the yellow, the white onion. <clears throat> but with the corn, I prefer the red one for some reason, I don't really know. And then I have an avocado here, a nice avocado goes on top. That's also nice and filling. And with the corn and the avocado, um, what is better than a red chili pepper? Some chili on top, and there you go. That's it. For decoration, I'll get things out. And this is all today. Look at the beautiful colors here different reds and yellow, green, white. Uh, it's nice. And it is so easy to make a delicious salad. And the green salad is the healthiest food, where I, that is officially the dark leafy greens that are called, are uh, the healthiest food for us. And so we should have them every day. And I like it always a little bit different always a little bit of variety, so the body rejoices, the mind is happy with the creativity, it loves to be creative, keeps it young. So there are many good things about this. And the dressing here, that's something I have for some time now. It's a garlic cashew dressing. I don't need that much. And um, it's blended cashews with garlic, water garlic, lemon pepper and salt, that's it, and the water of course. And to check if I have enough here, and there's another video linked under this one, how to make it. Um, it's easy, I blend it together. And you can vary, you can make it thicker, thinner, lemony, less lemony, uh, more garlicky, less garlicky. It's really as you wish. It's so nice, as you like. I over-season usually the garlic, uh, the dressing for a green salad or for any salad. The dressing gets diluted and they put it over the salad. Uh, so the chefs always say uh, when you make a salad and a dressing 
you should really uh, taste the dressing together with the salad ingredients. Otherwise, you don't know if it's good. If you make a dressing and you taste it, you say, that is not good, <clears throat> that can be an obstacle because you only know what it tastes like when you eat it with the salad. There's a really big difference. So when you know that, uh, yeah, sometimes people think, oh, the dressing is not so good, ah, too much or so. Taste it first with the salad. That's a nice tip also. Very simple. So this is my salad today, and it looks good. You see, I could toss it right away. I can't always do that, depending on the leaf I have. This is a firm leaf, so easy. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like, like my video, subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day to enjoy the endless vegan variety. Yeah. Push bell button, get notification every day, yeah, so you don't miss a one. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.